Jesus come back to me to my miracle. Holy Ghost come back to me to my miracle. Father, we thank you for bringing us here tonight. We thank you for a wonderful time like this. We thank you because your word says, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Thank you because your word says, Blessings abound where you reign. And those who are in captivity are set free. Thank you for bringing your people here tonight. To this mana water service. Marie Katenda Lekaya Boshente. As many as are gathered here tonight. I decree upon your life. Any wicked weapon fashioned against your life shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Shall backfire. Shall backfire. Shall backfire. Shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. Any power threatening your progress trying to hinder your progress backing against your progress they shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. They shall be disappointed in the name of Jesus. And right there where you are, the power that cannot be insulted, the power that cannot be rubbished, the power that cannot be reproached, the power that will make you a terror to the enemy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder amen. amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. We know not what we should pray. Our be at we know not what we should pray. 
bi atin gbadura asa topic tonight akori oro wa ni asale leleyi in romans chapter 8 ni inu iwe rom ori ikejo we see a very strange passage ari ayoka kan to sajeji Romans chapter 8 verse 26. He will roam ori kejo esekeni dini ogbon. You do well to follow me very carefully. Ada teban ba me kalo. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. He will roam ori kejo esekeni dini ogbon. Likewise, be gege the spirit li emi also helpeth our infirmities. Siro ai le rawa lowo. For we know not what we should pray. We know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make it intercession for us. With groanings which cannot be uttered. Likewise. The spirit also helped our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Prayer is a deep thing. Prayer is a mysterious thing. Prayer can rewind. Prayer can walk in the present. Prayers can be fast forwarded. Prayer can be like currency in the bank which you can store. You can store prayers. Some of, some of us are enjoying the prayers that our parents stored now. The bank. And so because prayer is a deep and mysterious thing. Many of our modern day men don't really understand prayer. Many churches running do not understand prayer. We do respect. They do not understand. Some of them that understand have started praying now. And those who were laughing at the mountain of fire miracles miracles before, they started praying the same prayers they were laughing at now. The reason they were laughing at that was because they don't understand the mechanism, the science, and the chemistry of prayers. That's why we have prayer of agreement. United prayers. Prayer of faith. Prayer of intercession. Prayer of consecration. Prayer of worship. Prayer of confrontation. Judgmental prayer. We have prayer of thanksgiving. We have prayer of adoration. We have prayer of intercession. We have prayer of nullification. Nullify. It is in existence. You want to cancel it. We have uprooting prayers. It's something as entrenched it says somewhere. And you want to uproot it. We have back to the sender prayers. We have fire for fire prayers. We have mountain moving prayers. See, if any of you shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed. We have mountain moving prayers. We have the prayer, we call the prayer of asking. The prayer of knocking. We have inquiry prayers. At the same time, we have 
prophetic prayers. We have apostolic prayers. We have prayers to speak destruction. We have prayers of dedication. We have aggressive prayers. Traveling prayers. We have those who do prayer work. We have desperate prayers. At the same time, we have vernacular prayers. You decide to start praying in your language. We have prayers of lamentation. We have decreeing prayers. We have prevailing prayers. We have barricading prayers. We have warfare prayers. We have revelational prayers. Bondage breaking prayers. Care casting prayers. We have defensive prayers. Evangelistic prayer. Geographical prayer. We have the healing prayers. We have the wordless prayers. It's praying but no words are coming out. After the order of Anna. We have the revival prayers. We have the silent prayers. We have the singing prayers. Surveillance prayers. We have the wet prayers. This prayer that somebody is singing in praying in tears. We have this kind of prayers. Different kinds, different categories. Because prayer is deep. Prayer is mysterious. So this strange passage we read. Let's read it one more time. Likewise, the Spirit also helped our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. We know not what to pray for as we ought. For we know not what we should pray for as we hurt. So this scripture is informing us that because of our infirmities by that infirmity it means human limitations our restricted understanding we don't have understanding our restricted understanding because of that there are two things we do not know we don't know the what of prayer and we don't know the how of prayer what prayers to pray and how to pray them they say we don't know in other words we don't know what we should pray we don't know what we should pray for we do not know how to pray as we should pray crudely put he said we do not know the matter to pray about we do not know the relevant method which every peculiar problem warrants we do not know what should make up the content of our prayers? Because what you need may not be what you want. The Bible says is, there is a way that seemeth right unto men. But the end there is death. There is a proverb that says, not all that guilt has is gold. In the spirit realm, it's not sometimes what you see 
physically you attack spiritually Jesus was looking at a woman in the temple all others could see was a woman bent double but Jesus saw beyond the bending double Jesus did not say straighten up Straighten up. Begin to walk straight. No, he went straight. So, woman, thou art loose. So she was tied. She was tied. So the correct prayer is be loosed. Be loosed. Not be straight. Not to walk straight. And you know, prayers have to be specific. Prayers have to be specific. If it's not specific, it falls into the arena of general praying. For the same reason, with all the shouting of blind Bartimaeus. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. When they brought him to Jesus, strangely, Jesus asked him extreme questions. What do you want me to do? to do for you. What kind of question is this? Why did he ask that kind of question? Because the prayers were not specific yet. Now say, Lord, that I may receive my sight. That was specific prayer. He needed to receive Side, which had been taken away. I don't know whether you understand what I'm telling you. Today. We do not know how we should make up the contents of our prayers because of our human limitations. Sometimes, when you are saying, Let me go, let me go, maybe the prayer is not even let me go. Maybe, maybe the prayer is turn me to fire. Maybe that prayer should have been turn me to fire. And then without fire, whatever is holding you burns away. We do not know the manner in which some prayers are done. This is why the books of prayers are there. A lot of people are so limited, they don't even know how to construct the prayers, what to say. There is still a mystery and a deepness about prayer that the modern day man does not understand. And it worries me when I read the Bible and I find that these ancient men knew something about prayer that we do not understand. There's, there's a pattern, a way in which those old, the old saints in the Bible worked that we have not even discovered, let alone walking there. The way Elijah prayed for rain was different from the way he prayed for the dead. The way he prayed for fire to fall was also different from the way he prayed for rain to fall. The Bible did not expose to us all the wordings of these Elijah's prayers. There are things they know we do not know. That's why we're suffering. Can you raise up your voice with thunder and with fire if you love your destiny? I shout this loud and clear. Oh God, arise! Damage my ignorance today! 
in the name of Jesus. My people perish for lack of knowledge. In Jesus' name we pray. It is possible to be feeding your enemy fat. In order to fight you. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. All unfriendly friends are assigned to mock your destiny with a sevenfold amen. Let them be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Bible says likewise. The spirit also helped our infirmities. The spirit knows that you can't see beyond your nose. The spirit knows that that dress you went to borrow, somebody wore it to a cover, but you didn't know. You touched, you just borrowed the dress. You didn't know. So I don't know why my body is scratching. Why my body is itching me. And so he began to rub and nothing on your body. Yes, that is not the correct prayer. The, the correct prayer is that the Lord should first of all deliver you from long throat of coveting other people's dresses. And then deliver you from the evil, the deposit of the evil garment. That's the prayer. We don't know the manner in which we should pray. So because of that limitation, you can't see into what is happening in the spirit realm. You can't see beyond your nose. You don't even know where you are. Then the spirit helps that infirmity. How does God help our infirmities? He helps our infirmities by letting the Holy Spirit intercede for us and through us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Groanings too deep for utterance. How does this happen? Look at verse 27. Verse 27. I'm going to read this verse slowly. I want you to understand it. And he that searched the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because he make it intercession for the saints according to the will of God. The Bible makes us understand what things know it the heart of men so except the spirit that dwelleth in him. So it's the spirit that can know the deep things that is happening to you. This means several things. Number one, the Holy Spirit does praying. Does the praying. That's why it's important for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Number two, the Holy Spirit knows what your spirit man wants, what, what the solution is. Three, the Holy Spirit searches our innermost being to know our deepest desire. 
many are in trouble and when you say, when we say they should pray they don't even know what to pray again for the holy spirit patterns the way we pray according to the problem that we have five the holy spirit decides the pattern the format the structure and the content of the prayer that's why the bible tells us sometimes god just sits down helpless because of our ignorance what, what you are seeing is absolute rubbish it's not relevant to what is even troubling your life i prayed i prayed i prayed what what ah, no. You could pray the wrong prayers from the cradle to the grave. The Holy Spirit, number five, the Holy Spirit decides, addresses what you cannot address. When we cannot pray, in our infirmities. He addresses what you cannot address. So what am I trying to explain slowly? Prayer is not merely a single weapon. But an armory, armory. Armory of all kinds of weapons. Armory of all kinds of weapons. Look at what is said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Philippians 4, 6. Prayer is an armory of all kinds of weapons. I pray once again. May the Lord damage our ignorance in the name of Jesus. Philippians 4 6. So be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving combination of three things three prayer supplications thanksgiving three things combine so, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto God so these three ways are the ways to make your request known unto God beloved there are different methods for prayer different methods for prayer you cannot subject God to test tube experiment. You cannot dictate to God what method you should use. By looking at how Jesus healed the blind, Jesus, Jesus, how Jesus healed the blind, looking at it is very instructive. In one occasion, he made clay with saliva and paste it in the eyes of the blind man. At another time, you just look at the man. So go and wash yourself in the pool. At another time, he spoke the word without touching the person. At another time, he led the person out of town. Took him away from his town and touched him twice outside the town. That place, that a blind man was there. 
And Jesus did not pray for him in that town. He dragged him out of the town. If you are in that town, that Jesus had to drag the man out. He even had to touch him twice. And you are in that town praying. Don't be too surprised. And that prize swallowed the minute you are praying it. So, so a good prayer warrior who can see will know that there is no prayer that can be answered in this place. So even Jesus had to take the man out. The, the king of kings and the lord of lords shook the man out of the town. So who are you a prayer warrior to say you are praying in that place? Let him out of town. Touch him twice. Then when he got to blame Bartimaeus, he just said, "Thy faith has made the old." So you don't see one designated method by which he was healing the blind. Yeah, you begin to study how he raised the dead too. I'm explaining this so you can know that there are different formats strategies of prayers. The only spirit could say, be jumping up as you are praying. You could say, be clapping your hands as you are praying. You could say, get on your knees as you are praying. You could say, lie flat on the floor as you are praying. Let's now consider how Jesus raised the dead. For Lazarus, he publicly called Lazarus by name and asked him to step out of the tomb as one method. In the case of the daughter of Jairus, Jesus asked everybody to go out. He even sent some of his disciples out too. Retaining only three in the room. And he prayed. Why did he chase those people out? That's the question you should ask. We are talking about prayer. Why couldn't he pray in the presence of all of them? Why? So you, you go, you go, you leave, leave, leave this place, leave this place. Without any prior prayers, you call people by name, and then they come out of the dead. When he came to the son of the widow of Nain, he just touched the coffin. Just the coffin. Before he has the dead boy to rise up. So every battle demands its own strategy. Don't ever compare your life to the life of others. Don't ever compare your Christian life to the life of others. Anybody who wants to be tall does not use a dwarf as his standard. That's the after us. I say, people are over there. They're not praying the way I'm praying. They seem to be having breakthrough. I mean that I'm praying. Oh, you don't understand. Your great grandfather was a witch doctor. Your grandfather was a marine priest. Your own father joined 32 cults. Your mother, your mother is the chief ketra in the witchcraft meeting. Your mother. And then that's how you were born. But you, you compare yourself to somebody. Mother Christian, Daddy Christian, they gave birth to him in church, they named him in church. Many people here were not named in church, you were named 
by a native doctor or a mosque or somewhere like that. Mafia na re we to je ke baba re Christian ya re Christian ni gba ton ma so loro ko ninu ile Olorun na ti so awon ele obiran bi iwo ninu mosque shi tabi ninu ile ojubo no ti so loro ko some sometimes they don't even they don't they don't even do naming ceremony for they just give you one name put some rat in your mouth and there you are ni gba mi ran go won ti mp kita lati so mo mo loro ko won ba wo osusu bayi wa ko gbe opo eku si lenu won ti fun loro ko niye so don't you don't compare yourself to such people that's why nobody comes to mountain of fire by chance he God brought you to mountain of fire it's not, it's not a mistake he brought you there for purpose he had seen your future he has seen your destiny he knows what prayers you need but unfortunately the enemy catches up with some people before they achieve victory pushes them from the fire into the smoke say leave the place leave the place leave the place they leave then the forces that have gathered before that could not get close to them in the fire now got them sevenfold more power and go into the attack every battle demands its own strategy Jehoshaphat was in trouble he cried to the Lord he thought God would say don't worry don't go to that battle we'll send thunder to destroy them he didn't say go and hide there go and hide here like God will sometimes tell David you go to that place that's why you should hide no he was expecting those kind of instructions <laughs> but, but the instructions he got was strange Lord said take a choir put the choir at the war front let the choir lead the war choir let the armed soldiers be at the back what kind of method is this I said listen God give that method strategy and by the time the choir started singing the soldiers at the back were there the enemies wage war against themselves they were provoked to start fighting they fought they destroyed themselves the soldiers that were coming just to divide the spoils this is a very very serious matter I remember that brother that was in trouble. He has a lot of headache. And one day, as he struggled with his life, the Holy Spirit says, Son, change your prayer to I shoot you my stubborn oppressor in Jesus' name and don't keep quiet until I stop you he started my stubborn pursuer I shoot you 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 as he was praying as he was praying he made a slip in his mouth he said I bind you he said no I didn't ask you to bind he said shoot so, sorry Lord went back again all of a sudden there was a scream at the top flat was the landlord knocking his door said, I don't know what you are doing stop 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 when the brother had stop 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 no he didn't stop didn't stop at all. This man was from the east. He's part of this country. He's part of this country. One place they call Arochuku. He now became more stubborn with the prayer. He didn't open the door. He, started, he continued to shoot. He 
the landlord died at the mouth of his door that man had been capturing the virtue of all the tenants but now he had admitted a stubborn tenant I'm praying for somebody here. Any invisible power shooting arrows at you shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. They shall destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. A louder amen. I told you the testimony of that sister too. Every month, broke, 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 broke. She was always, always broke. Until one day, the Holy Spirit gave her the prayer point. So begin to cut off evil hands that are holding your finances. He was, she was praying in Lagos. Somebody's hands were being cut off somewhere else. It was then she could prosper. But if the prayer was, Oh God, make me rich. Oh God, make me rich. Oh God, no. 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 It's not how it should be prayed. Every battle has its own strategy. When Satan comes to manifest as accuser of the brethren, the appropriate weapon is the word of God, the word of our testimony, and the blood of Jesus. When Satan comes as a roaring lion, the weapon is soberness and vigilance. When it comes as a mountain, the weapon is to cast it into the sea. God knows which sea to send them and where to send them. When it turns up as an unprofitable tree, the prayer is to dry it to the roots. When it comes as eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, the prayer is that they should eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. Every battle has its own relevant strategy, relevant prayers. I'm praying for somebody. I don't know who you are. God will release thundering fire upon all evil gatherings against you. In the name of Jesus, let your amen rule like thunder. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. This is where we're going to stop tonight. All eyes closed. In case you are here, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. By say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Said I should pray with me. Don't rush home. Just gather here at the front of the door. We close. Or you can take our data from the screen so that we can contact you. Thank you, Jesus. This prayer I want you to pray. Uh, it is a question of one prayer representing 2,000 prayer points. Just one prayer, but it's 2,000 prayer points. So pray it as if you are praying 2,000 prayer points. Can you raise up your voices like fire and like thunder? To pray and get results. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. 
Your voice is still not loud enough. I am available. Come upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Oh God, arise! Increase my prayer fire in the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Before we continue, please bring out your tithes and your offering Go for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. The good measure prayers are falling over. Shaking together. Let it be our Lord in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon your people, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You can find the boxes before you. You can take our numbers from the screen, the data from the screen. While we listen to the music ministration. Hallelujah. How many of you believe the Bible is the word of God? Somebody shout, Bible! The word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, na 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 na